very much, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Mr. Chairman uh, Miller, uh, Americans everywhere should thank you, and they should thank Congresswoman McCarthy and all those who are part of this, this Give Act that made it happen, because it stands for a very simple and elegant proposition and purpose, and that is that if Americans want to serve, they ought to be given that opportunity. The Give Act creates many different dimensions of service that Americans can pursue. I'm very proud to have worked closely with Congressman Phil Hare um, in introducing the Vet Corps component of this service corps. And I want to thank Chairman Miller for working to include that in the final version of the bill. We owe so much to our veterans. We can never fully repay the debt that we owe them, but we can try. And the way we can try is to create a service corps program like Vet Corps that's going to make sure that when veterans return from their service, we have an opportunity to serve them and that they in turn can serve the broader communities and serve other military families and other veterans to support them. The statistics are alarming. The unemployment rate for returning veterans is as high as 18 percent. We can give them the training and the opportunity to become engaged and re-engaged in our communities through service corps programs like Vet Corps. And I'm so very pleased that that's part of this opportunity here. I'd also like to say before I yield back um, that I enjoyed working with Jay Inslee, Congressman Jay Inslee, um, on the Clean Energy Corps, which is going to provide opportunities for young people to get involved in improving energy efficiency and the Green Revolution. I yield back. Thank the gentleman you. Gentleman yields back this time. The gentleman from Pennsylvania. I'll continue to reserve, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman Chairman. reserves. Mr.